Hello investors, this is the August update for my eToro fund. July was a topsy-turvy month in general. We were doing quite well uh, midway through the month, but in the last one or two weeks of July, the portfolio declined. This is mostly due to the decline in the Chinese stocks and also because Amazon fell after its earnings. Let's take a look at the performance and the portfolio. So, this is how we are so far for this year, about 12.47%. Let's take a look at the portfolio. Intuitive has become another number one uh, holding. Amazon. Uh, like I mentioned, fell after earnings, but it's still a very uh, strong company. And we were glad to see that its cloud computing uh, business is accelerating from the first quarter. So we still think that there are many um, tailwinds to come for its cloud, its cloud computing business. These are other stocks in the portfolio. Alibaba has had a disappointing year. Uh, maybe if Ant Financial does its IPO late in the year, that could be a tailwind for Alibaba and that could help it recover. Business-wise, it's still doing good. Um, E-commerce results haven't been too bad. These are our other holdings in the portfolio. Another stock that has done badly for us is um, Baozun. At one point in this year, Bowser was up about 50 or 60 percent, but as you can see, it's fallen quite a lot. This is in general due to the sentiment around Chinese stocks. Again, I don't think Bowser's business has uh, done badly this year. Uh, it will be releasing its earnings soon. Generally, I think Bowser is a good uh, company to hold, especially since it's very attractively valued. I think if the sentiment around Chinese stocks improves, Bowser can recover. Teladoc has also been a poor uh, performance so far, but I still think that Teladoc has a good future ahead of it. These are other holdings. Crypto has been on fire recently. Um, we wanted to buy more crypto, but um, I guess the price didn't fall enough for us to take uh, the plant through crypto. But anyway, I'm happy that we have our current allocation. And if crypto rises further, this allocation will rise along with it. These are our other holdings in the portfolio. Two mistakes that we made this year were buying American Well and Doyu, um, probably way too early. So American Well, we could have bought it at a much cheaper price. And Doyu, I guess along with the sentiment I mentioned above, um, regarding Chinese stocks has fallen quite a bit. But though you is trading at a very cheap price, it's even trading below the amount of cash it holds on its balance sheet. So I expect uh, logic to prevail sooner or later and though you should recover as well. So that is our portfolio um, so far for this year. Let me know what you think about our holdings in this portfolio. And have a great day.